spent quite a few hours grinding on this thing. I think I spent maybe, I worked from about 9.45 a.m. yesterday till about 5.30 p.m. Yeah, that was grinding this side here down and up inside the fender well there where I've got it welded. And I ground some up underneath where the uh, trunk drop-off panels are welded on. Now that I've got that ground down on this side, that needs to be hammered and dollied. And uh, it's going to be uh, kind of tough to do because I have short arms. But we'll see what we can do there. And uh, I haven't got the other side ground down all that much. I've done some on it. See right there, but uh, main reason why I was using this uh, doing this video is um, guy was asking me the other day what I used to grind the welds in tight places like that, and I had welded all up and around the corner, all around through there, and then up to that point, so. Mainly, that area right in there, and up in that corner, that was one that was a, a bear to get ground. But I um, got this little die grinder here. It's a carbide tungsten bit tool. And that sucker is a lifesaver. And uh, there's a whole set you can buy on Amazon. It's about $30, lots of good reviews. Everybody said, you know, if you take care of them and use them right, don't abuse them, said they will cut metal fast. And, this thing is old and I've had it a long time. And <clears throat> it doesn't cut all that fast, but it still gets in there. It does a good job. I'll get up here and try to do a close up. See if maybe you can see it. I know it's kind of hard to tell with the flash on my camera and the way the lights are reflecting. But um, I've got it pretty dang good. It just needs a thin coat of body filler in there. And, be done with that. Got the other side over here done. Oh. But just wanted to do a short little video. Talk about that. I'll put a, a link to the tools in the description. Uh, it's on Amazon where you can get the tool set at. It's a, the part that goes inside the die grinder is a quarter a quarter inch shank. Anyway, um, so it's getting cold out here and I'm kind of shaky. <laughs> I'm about ready to call it quits and go in the house. But, uh, anyway, um, here's my video for the night. Uh, let's go down here. Spent all these hours and hours grinding away here. And uh, get my camera to focus. Okay, you see that big shiny spot in the middle and then the two lines are going up and down? Well, this panel that I got from AutoMetalDirect.com, it said some modifications may be necessary. I've talked about this in one of the other videos I posted a while back. I'll get in here and try to show you. Move stuff out of the way. All right, you see where this little brace is? Well, right there, that little part that pumps out. That is for the gas shock that goes in that hole right there. I guess it needs some room up there when the bumper's in there so you can get to the bolts on the back side. Well, that panel, they didn't stamp it for that. They just left it flat. So, I was wondering, well, heck, can I cut a piece off the other car and stick it in there and patch it in? And I got to looking at that, and it was rusted away too bad, <clears throat> so I couldn't use anything from it. I sat there and thought about it a while, and I had it all mounted up here with my uh, self-tapping screws. I just thought, well, I just cut a little line there and there, and I took my body hammer and I just knocked it in, made it curve in there, and I put the bumper on, test fit it, and everything fits, and it's got room. <coughs> Down the other side the same way. But, um... It's a 
crazy how long it takes to grind all this stuff and just to try to do, you know, a pretty good job. I try to get as flat as I can that way. And it takes less body filler or seam filler to cover up, you know, areas like this part here under the trunk. I probably won't do any body filler at all on that. I'm just going to put epoxy all over it and put some seam sealer on it. And then when it comes time to paint it, we'll paint over all that. Be good to go. But, um, like I said, that's about it for this video. Kind of wore out. I pulled a muscle on my ribs and it's making me work quite a bit slower, so taking a while. I spent six hours welding the tail light panel in both of the trunk or both of the lower quarter panels. And uh, like I said, I went from uh, 5:40 no 9:45 a.m. yesterday till uh, about 5:30 p.m. grinding on stuff yesterday. And today I've been out here from about I'm gonna say 1:45 maybe two o'clock. And uh, I think we're about 7.45 now, something like that, so there's five hours plus whatever it was yesterday, so uh, I used to be great at math when I was younger. I don't use my brain enough for that stuff anymore. But it's way longer to grind it than it was to weld it. But if you like the video and uh, things I'm talking about, showing you here, help you out, uh, like them, share them to anybody shop pages you're on or uh, paint pages or you know you're, you're just on a, some kind of car page whether it be Novas, Camaros, you know Mopars, whatever. Um, share away and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel and be sure and click the little bell so you get all the updates for the new videos I post. I appreciate it. Everybody have a good night.